periodic table so periodic table uh, for class 9 basically so periodic table is actually this table this is periodic table okay this is the modern periodic table actually okay so before getting into periodic table we need to know about certain points okay the first point is like few topics the first topic is atom so what is an atom as we all know atom is what it's the smallest unit of a matter okay so actually we all know that you know this is kind of an uh, figure of atom okay so this is your nucleus and these are shells okay atom has got like a couple of shells got it and electron revolves around shells and inside nucleus as we have already discussed an atomic uh, structure we have got two new uh, subatomic particles which are what protons and neutrons protons and neutrons so kid this is your at structure of atom this is the structure of atom so electron revolves around here and these are shells these are actually shells and nucleus is over here okay so and uh, as we have already discussed in uh, like atomic structure chapter that nucleus has got all the mass are present in nucleus okay the subatomic particle that is neutrons and protons are present in nuclear so this was about atom so what atom has atom has equal numbers of protons and electron okay so atom has equal number of electrons and protons okay so when an elect like when an atom loses an electron that <coughs> that time it has got more protons than electrons then it is known as cations okay and when it has got more protons than electrons then it is known as anions we have already discussed the topic and atomic structure you can follow that video so the next thing is this one so what is this this is atomic number z letter represent atomic number so what is atomic number again it is, has been discussed in uh, the chapter atomic structure but still i'm discussing over here uh, discussing it over here like atomic number is total number of protons protons which is equals to total number of electrons okay then a the letter a represent mass number and as we know mass number is concentrated in nucleus so mass number is total number of electron total number of uh, sorry total a uh, number of protons plus neutrons so total number of protons and neutrons together forms mass number and mass number kaise represent karte hai? by letter a okay so we have discussed this now come to electronic configuration of electronic configuration kya hota hai electronic configuration is distribution of electrons in a shell 
इलेक्ट्रॉन्स कैसे डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड है शेल में हाउ द इलेक्ट्रॉन्स आर डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड इन अ शेल इट इज़ नोन एज इलेक्ट्रॉनिक कॉन्फिग्रेशन कितने इलेक्ट्रॉन्स डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड है शेल में सपोज एल्यूमिनियम इट्स अ नॉन मेटल सो टू कॉमा एट कॉमा थ्री सो फर्स्ट शेल में हाउ मैनी इलेक्ट्रॉन इट हैज गॉट टू देन कितने इलेक्ट्रॉन्स है एट देन थ्री सो हाउ द इलेक्ट्रॉन्स आर डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड इन अ शेल The distribution of electron in a shell is known as electronic configuration. Now come to valency. Valency, as we all know, it is the combining capacity of an element. कैसे elements combine करते हैं? We have already discussed it in language of chemistry. Now modern periodic table, which I had already shown you, this one. This is the modern periodic table. Same. So on this modern periodic table, as you can see, there are seven periods: one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There are seven periods, okay? And how many groups are there? There are eighteen groups, okay? This, these are periods, okay? Periods are the horizontal rows are known as periods. We have got seven periods, okay? These, okay? These are the seven periods from left to right, okay? See one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, the horizontal rows are known as periods. Okay, these horizontal rows. Please do not get confused. Student often get confused between periods and groups. Okay. So what is a period? Periods is a horizontal row. Okay, from left to right, you have got periods, and vertical from top to bottom, you have got groups. Okay. So we have already seen. The modern periodic table. Now let's discuss about the modern periodic table. So, so so what are periods? Actually, period means the electrons. We have got a uh, seven periods. So, what are periods? Periods are electrons that are entering your shell. So, period is actually electrons entering. Okay, what's up? So, what is a period? A period is a electron entering that shell. Suppose lithium. Take for an example, uh, lithium or sodium. Sodium. So, if somebody asks you, what is the period of uh, sodium? Okay. So, just write the electronic configuration. Okay, two comma eight comma one. As sodium has got atomic number, sodium का atomic number क्या है? Eleven है. So two comma eight comma one. Okay. So first shell, second shell, third shell. So period. If somebody asks you which period on which period like sodium is present, just count the numbers of shell. You'll get the period four, two, three. So sodium is is in which period? It's in third period. Got it? So periods are basically numbers. So just count. How we will calculate the periods? Just count number of shells. Got it? While groups, how many groups are there? There are eighteen groups. Okay. While groups are valence electron. You can tell if somebody asks you how to calculate the. Do not write groups of valence electrons. Just write a that. The definition which is given in your book, which I'll discuss with you. But if like somebody asks you, like if the question comes, what is the, uh, how will you calculate? Like how will you find out a group of any, suppose sodium only of any element? So how will you calculate? Uh, how will you find out? See, just look at the valence electron. So what is the valence electron? Valence electrons means सबसे last वाला electrons जो सबसे last shell में electron है उसे कैसे कह लो तो कौन से यहाँ पे last shell में कितने electrons हैं one so इसका group क्या है one got it so it's present in group one कौन से period में present है it's present in period third got it so Let's discuss few more things. Like period one is the shortest period. It has got only two elements, while period two and three has got eight elements. Period four and five has got eighteen elements. Period six has got thirty-two elements, and it is the longest period. Period seven has got twenty-six element, and it is incomplete. Got it? 
now let's discuss about the periodic table in detail so early chemists actually they used to arrange the arrangement which you actually see right now this one it's it's like the modern periodic table but if, like few centuries before it wasn't like this okay so uh, it was arranged on the basis of what early chemists arranged it on the basis of valency metallic and non-metallic character okay then dobinier dobinier arranged it in order of increasing atomic weight okay how did he arrange it in order of increasing atomic weight atomic weight ke hisab se elements wo un elements ko group kar dete the teen elements ko ek saath wo group kar dete the and atomic weight of the middle element was found theek hai do elements koi bhi do elements ko and the, actually the thing was discarded because it could not prove true for all the elements got it like see how he used to do it is he used to like write two elements okay and like if he is writing sodium okay and uh, suppose potassium so dobinier what he used to do he used to take any three like three elements suppose lithium which has got atomic weight 7 and potassium which has got atomic weight 39 and ye element he used to miss this okay so what he used to do he used to just write 7 plus 39 he used to find the average basically which is 46.2 then you get a 23 the 23rd okay he used to get a 23 so 23 kaun sa element ka atomic weight is sodium so he used to write sodium so this is the trite okay dobinier's trite this was known as dobinier's trite got it so this could not hold like hold to be true this thing was discarded because of um, obviously because uh, isotopes okay few elements had got like <coughs> different uh, atomic weight so this was discarded and it was did not hold true for all elements newland now newland also arranged elements in order of uh, increasing atomic weight okay so these people actually were actually making mistake they were arranging elements in order of atomic weight and an atomic weight actually keeps on changing for isotopes few element like chlorine hydrogen okay uh many more i'll discuss about it later on has got what they have got they have got different weight do they are same element but they have got different weight they are they have got isotopes they could, so that they could not be whole true for all the elements now newland in 1864 arranged um, elements in order of at increasing atomic weight elements were arranged in a series of 8 okay properties of every element was found to be repetition of the first element ka repetition tha this was also discarded at is failed to leave spaces for undiscovered element ke liye spaces hain then mendeleev arranged element in order increasing out of atomic weight okay uh, he stated that properties of elements were periodic function he told they were periodic function of the atomic weight okay periodic function is mostly due to he uh, it's due mostly due to the valence electron he told ki periodic properties hai jo atomic weight ke upar hai but it could not justify certain elements rare elements and isotopes again mostly actually he was the one who got inspired by mendeleev and arranged elements in order of increasing atomic number okay so he stated that the periodic actually peri uh, this properties of elements were periodic function periodic function kiske hain atomic number ke hain okay uh, method uh, then his method was removed uh, most of the mendeleev's periodic uh, so he removed most of the thing like uh, the effect that mendeleev made he made it correct got it so now the uh, modern periodic law uh, what does it states very important for kids to know modern periodic law physical and chemical properties of all element a periodic function of the atomic number this is very important okay it might come in your school exam ki what is modern periodic table so just write this one physical and chemical properties of elements a periodic function of the atomic number we have already discussed periods okay they are horizontal no there are seven periods we have discussed group okay group 1 2 3 group 1 2 and 13 to 17 are called normal elements okay 
Group 3 to 12s are known as transition elements while group 18s are called noble or inert gas. Got it kids? See this one. Group, which groups? Group 1. Wait. Group 1, group 2, group 13 to 18. These are normal. Okay, normal elements. Okay. Group 3 to 12. This to this. Group 2 to 12 is known as transition elements. Got it? And the group 18, this last one are noble gases. Now let's discuss few other things like group 1. This one, the group 1. This one actually. Okay, from hydrogen. Okay, it's like, can you see from hydrogen to francium? Okay, this is known as alkali metal. Okay, those are known as alkali metal. Group 2 are known as alkaline earth metal. Sometimes they ask you in the question, especially in class 9. Like, it's known as alkali metal. Group 2 is known as alkali earth metal. Group 3 to 12 is known as transition element. Okay, whereas uh, those which are present in group 6, uh, like pH 6 is known as lanthicide series. Group 7, anticide series. Okay, these are mostly radioactive elements. Group 13 to 16 post-transition element group 17 halogens group 18 noble or inert gases okay got it now transition elements again they have got subparts in a transition elements too now we will discuss about periodic properties we have been talking about periodic properties so what are actually periodic properties though it's not uh, like compulsory in class uh, 9 but few of the schools actually gives us this thing what are periodic properties so periodic properties are those properties which appear at regular interval in the periodic table jo appear karte hain thodi thodi der baad periodic table mein wo sare periodic properties hote hain Atomic radius, ionization potential, electron affinity, electron negativity, non-metallic and metallic character. These all are periodic properties. Okay. And okay. These all are known as periodic properties. Got it?